So uh, simply, so simply, I can say that the calculations, the uh, these uh, for the substation uh, uh, grid substation selection for the grid substation selection, you have to do the load flow studies and you have to do the short circuit studies. The short circuit studies will give you the what would be the fault levels in that substation and the load flow studies will give you a very good uh, kind of uh, uh, constraints that suppose let's see let's see like this it's a very interesting thing uh, if you read those reports uh, i am having that report i will share you that uh, uh, like see so this is my substation team i connected 220 kv to this so from this the 220 kv is converting to 400 kv and is connected to here and this 400 kv is connecting to other uh, substation to other state and this 400 kv is again stepping down to 132 kv and 132 kv to 233 kv and it is giving to the distribution now we are doing what would be if suppose the line which is traveling from this substation to this substation 400 kv if this line is failed then is there any impact on your substation or else he is transmitting the power generation whatever the power generated by you to other state so those conditions also, those things also will be given in that. So by taking all this contingency analysis, all this load flow, short circuit, reactive power things, you, we will decide, he, he will give the conclusion, the third party will give the conclusion. So this is the best possible substation for you to integrate the power. We are not having the data. That's why we are not able to do this. Internal studies, internal power system studies like load flow, short circuit, we are doing. So I will show you in the uh, e tab. So how it works. But the the concept is same. So when we are seeing the load flow studies and short circuit analysis in the e tab, so similarly they are also doing. But the network is high there. We are uh, doing the work uh, this exercise with a small network. That's it. Remaining everything is the same. Clear team. So uh, this is the about the grid substation selection. So this study is also called as a feasibility study. What is a feasible uh, evacuation option for your project? So all these three, the voltage selection, substation location, and grid substation selection, all this will come under the preliminary stage of engineering. If we done all this, and if we get the approval from the management, then we will move to the next step. That is the uh, main design of the substation. So we will start the work of doing the single line diagram in our next sessions. So this, uh, this is the, uh, uh, this is from my side.